Howdy folks, welcome back to JKL Designs. Today I'll be telling you the story behind the can lamp. This all started when my little brother broke an old glass Ikea lamp, very similar to this one. Before tossing it, I pulled out the light fixture and held onto it for years. Then one day it hit me, what if I turned a beer can into a lamp? So I did. I found this lampshade at a thrift store, slapped it together, and boom, the can lamp. I loved this lamp and used it for almost two years but it had its issues. It would fall over often and spill the rice that I used to weigh the lamp down. So, to redesign it, I came up with three goals. First, the new design needed to fit the existing light fixture. It had to make it easy to swap out cans, and it had to stay upright if it was bumped during the night. So after a few rounds of 3D modeling and prototyping, here's what I came up with. Starting off with the base that has room for rubber feet and a cord slot, as well as a void that can be filled with something heavy in order to provide a stable base. I used metal BBs, as you can see I'm just putting them in there. Once the base is full of BBs, uh, the tower can be inserted. So this has threads in the top that hold the light fixture and some latches on the bottom there that allow it to click into the base. And once that's on there, that seals all the BBs inside the base. Then the light fixture can be added and threaded into place. Uh, and the cord can be run through the slot at the bottom and secured in place as well. Once that's done, it's time to prepare the can for the base. So that's just done using a can opener to cut the bottom and the top of the can off. And once that's done, you have a hollow can that's ready to be added to the can lamp. The can is slid over the tower and the shroud that came with the light fixture is secured on top in order to hold it in place. Once that's done, the light bulb can be added, as well as the lampshade, and V2 of the cane lamp is officially finished. And for the grand reveal, I'm super happy with how this project turned out. It aligns with the three goals that I laid out for this project. It's a lot more stable than the original version was, uh, and because of the way that the BBs are secured in the base, they no longer spill. Uh, the can can also be easily replaced without having to destroy the can, meaning that you can save cans and change them out whenever you want and have an all-new lamp. Now there's one more glaring issue with this lamp, and I think I have an idea for how to fix it. Tune in next week to see how it was done. 